All right, let's take a little bit more of an in-depth look at the unit circle, and let's do some practice. So here we have all of our values that are starred on the unit circle, our special values, and let's just take a look at what these measurements are in degrees. So the first one here, starting at 1, 0, that is 0 degrees or 360 degrees. The first measurement, the smallest measurement on the circle, and we go around, remember, counterclockwise, is 30 degrees. And remember yesterday we put the 30, 60, 90 triangle in here. So this is a 30 degree angle from the horizontal. So 30 degree reference angle. Uh, the next one is 45 degrees. And the next one is 60 degrees. So what this means is it makes a 60 degree angle with your horizontal axis. Okay. Then we get up to the very top, which is a 90 degree. So let's just look at, right now, let's look at the 45 degree angles. So if I go and I just go straight across in the next quadrant, this is also essentially a 45 degree angle. That's what we're going to be working with. So the, the way to think about this is this is 45 degrees back from the horizontal. And the horizontal over here is halfway around the circle, another 90 degrees, which is 180. So 45 back from 180 is 135. And if we slide down here, 45 degrees past 180, oops, 45 degrees past 180 is going to be 225. And just a little note, all of the all of the um, 45 degree increment angles all end in 5. So there are all the 45 degree angles, 45 degrees with the horizontal axis. So if I'm a horizontal axis here, they're 45 degrees either back or past 360 or 180 or 0. Okay? Let's go ahead and do that same thing for 30 degrees. If I'm 30 degrees back from 180, that means that I am 30 minus, or 180 minus 30, which would be 150 degrees. Okay. Down here, if I'm 30 degrees past 180, that's 210 degrees. In quadrant four, if I'm 30 degrees back from 360, that's going to be 330. And then what's left are the 60 degree angles. So if I go all the way up here at 60 degrees, 60 degrees back from 180 is going to be 120. Down here, 60 degrees past 180 is 240. And 60 back from 360 is 300. And of course, the multiple of 90 that we're missing down here is 270. So there is your unit circle, all in degrees. Those are the special values that we're going to work with here to start. And let's go ahead and take a look at the cosine and sine values at those points on the circle. So we basically have um, values between 0 and 1, or 0 and negative 1, that are going to represent our cosine and sine values. And 0 being the smallest value. 1 half being the next smallest, which I refer to as the short, and that's plus or minus a half. Um, and then the medium, or the middle value, would be root 2 over 2, plus or minus. Long is root 3 over 2, and the longest is 1. So if we talk about, notice up here, cosine. Cosine is your x value, which is your right and left. That's why I have this little... Um, line here. So I'm going to use this line to represent cosine values. Okay. So if I start at zero, what is the, where are my cosine values zero? That's not to the right at all. It's not to the left at all. It's right here at zero. So where are my cosine values zero? 90 degrees and 270 degrees. If I go to the right, what's my first stop? 
right here at 60 and 300. Okay, what value is that? How far to the right is that? That's one half to the right. So what is the cosine of 60 degrees? That's a half. And the cosine of 300, also a half. So the way I like to think of it as if I'm trying to find, okay, say the cosine of 30 degrees, okay, 30 degrees, that's right here. How far to the right is that? That's not short, medium, it's long to the right. And the long that's in the positive quadrant is root 3 over 2. So I like to think of this as short, medium, long, and of course longest is 1, smallest is 0. These are kind of my tools, or this is the way I think about it. If I'm negative, what's the cosine of 120? Okay, 120, that's going to be up here. That's the short way from 0, which is negative 1 half. All right, if we're talking about sine, the sine is representative of the y values. So the sine is your up and down. That's why the bar is horizontal. So these, here's all my sine values. Oh, I'm missing one star here. Can't be missing a star. There you go. So all the possible sine values range from positive 1, which is at 90 degrees, all the way down through 0 and down to negative 1 which is at 270 degrees. So the sine values range from positive 1 to negative 1. And there's all these very special values, the special triangle values in between. So like what are the sine values right here at 30 and 150? Well that's positive a half. What are the sine values in the middle up here at 45 and 135? Well, that's positive root 2 over 2. What about the long value way up here? That's positive root 3 over 2 up there. And all the way up to the top, what is that? You guessed it. It's 1. If I travel my way down, 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 down. Oh, where am I here? Those sine values are 0. Down, 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 down here. Sine values are negative 1 half. And you can probably see the pattern emerge here. Now, you know, why are we talking about the unit circle? What, what are we going to use this stuff for? Well, I don't know. This is good for us to start to talk about trig values that are not related to triangles. Okay, So all possible sine and cosine values here are going to be between 1 and negative 1. Same thing with the co I said sine, I think. Cosine there, I meant to say sine. Uh, same thing with the cosine. Cosine ranges from positive 1 to the far right, 0, to negative 1 to the far left. And the values right there are always between 1 and negative 1. So now you just need to go ahead and do a whole bunch of practice. All right, so we'll do a few problems together here. Um, what is the cosine of 45? Okay, think about it. Cosine is your right and left. How far to the right are you at 45 degrees? Well, starting at zero, you are short, medium. And you'll probably catch on that all the mediums are the root 2 over 2s. Just got to get the sine right. So we're in the positive quadrant, positive, positive. So that would be positive root 2 over 2. What is the sine of 270 degrees? Okay, 270 degrees, we're down here. The sine value way down there is... You might guess that that is all the way down as far as you can go, and that is... Negative 1, good, you got it right, good job. The cosine of 210 degrees. What is the sine of cosine? in this quadrant, is it positive or negative? Are the cosine values positive or negative in this quadrant? 
your answering to yourself in your head, and the correct answer is negative. Any value to the left of the origin is negative. So we're talking about our x values, and in the third quadrant, way down here, all the values are negative. So cosine's negative and sine's negative. How much negative? Well, starting at the middle, we have our short, medium, and long. So how much negative? Root 3 over 2 negative. Do, 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 do. Good job. The sine of 330 degrees. Okay, 330 degrees. That's 30 degrees back from the horizontal. So that puts us at 330. What is the sine at 330 degrees? Well, is it positive or negative? Yeah, you're right. It is negative. Good. Because it's down below the x-axis. So anytime you go down, those values for y are negative. So this sign value is negative. How much negative? Do, 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 do. Tell me when to stop when I get to the right answer. Stop. Good. Excellent. Negative a half. Wow, you are doing very good. Good job. Keep it up. Okay, I just realized that I'm kind of winging this, and if I repeated a value, that would be kind of funny, and I apologize for that, but cosine of 90? I can't remember. Did I do that one? Well, if I did, it's good practice anyway to do it again. Cosine, that's right and left. Cosine of 90, 90 degrees, that's right smack dab right here. That's not to the right. It's not to the left. It's right at the value of, what's the x value right here? What's the x value right on this y-axis? What is the x value right here? Are you thinking to yourself that it might be zero? You're correct. Good job. Let's do a couple more. The sine of 315 degrees. Remember, sine is your up and down. It's your y value. How far down are we there at 315 degrees? Well, maybe by now you've realized that anytime it's a multiple of 45, we're going to be dealing with one of the mediums. So the mediums are saved for the multiples of 45, or 45 degree reference angles from the horizontal, I should say. And so what quadrant are we in? We are in the fourth quadrant. What are the sines in the fourth quadrant? Sine values are below the axis, they're negative. Cosine values are positive. So the sine is gonna be negative, and we're talking about our medium, negative root two over two. One more. Just kidding, I lied. Let's do two more. Cosine of 400 degrees. What? 400 degrees? How are we going to do that? How are we going to do 400 degrees? Hmm. Let me think. How? 400, that's got to be, if I go all the way around, that's going to be what? 360? And how many more do I need to go? 40? That doesn't make any sense. That was a dumb thing to pick. Why don't we change that? I'm having trouble adding right now. Why don't we change that to 420 degrees? There we go. 420 degrees. Oh, all the way around. How do I do this? All the way around is 360, and then to get to 420, I need to go another 60 degrees. Ding, ding, ding. 420 degrees is the same as 60 degrees. So what is the cosine there? Well, cosine is to the right and left, and that would be to the right. How much? How much is that to the right? One half. Good. Good. So when you have more than 360 degrees, you go all the way around once, or even twice, depending on how many times you have to go around, and then take the remaining part, as that's where you're at. Okay, last one. Sine of negative 150. What? Negative 150 degrees? How are we going to do that? Hmm, any ideas? Any ideas? Anyone? Somebody, answer here. Oh, you're right. You, yes, you do go around the other, the other way. So negative 150 degrees is 150 degrees around this way, which is going to be the same as 210. So if I take 360 minus 150, I get 210. What is the sine value down there? You guessed it. Negative 1 half.
that's enough practice for now. Hopefully that helps. And we will see you guys in class.